There is a saying that those who know who don't know history are typically doomed to repeat it. There's a reason why our ancestors typically wrote things down to the best of their ability throughout human history. Whether they wrote things on cave walls or they wrote things on parchment or on outer urns, it was typically so that people could remember what had happened in their time period and learn from either their mistakes or from the things that they did that were good. Even the Apostle Paul, when he penned many of his letters, he said the exact same thing, where he said that the things that had happened four times were for our instruction, right? The things that were written in the, in the Bible, in the book of uh, Genesis, all the way through the entire Old Testament, he said all these things, when you look back at them, they are written for our instruction, for whom the end of the system of things have come to a conclusion. Now, of course, he talked about that in his time, where the Roman Empire was basically coming to its conclusion. The way that the Jews lived their lives and the glorious temple and the way that they worshipped was all coming to an end. Which is why you don't see Jewish people today offering animal sacrifices. Even though it was required of them through the Mosaic Law, and they still practice the Mosaic Law to this day, but they don't offer animal sacrifices because they don't have a temple. And they never will. Now, we're not here to talk about necessarily spiritual things, but again, much of what was written aforetime was written for our instruction. And this is according to the Holocaust sources in context, experiencing history. And Hitler says the Nazis often portrayed those they persecuted as vermin, parasites, or diseases. Says Nazi ideology focused on the idea that Germany's racial purity was under attack from the blood of weaker people. Because the Nazi propaganda often depicted Jews, political opponents, and others as parasitic organisms that threatened the overall health of the German racial community. Because during the years of the Nazi regime, German doctors frequently argued that Jews spread disease. Reflecting common themes in Nazi propaganda, these medical professionals, hey, trust the science, right, repeatedly pushed the false claim that Jews were especially responsible for outbreaks of typhus, a deadly contagious disease spread by lice. So the Nazi propaganda poster featured here was created in 1941 for public display in German-occupied Poland. There's the Polish language words translated roughly uh, Jews are lice, they cause typhus. De uh, designed to link Jews and typhus closely together in the minds of non-Jewish Poles. As the poster shows one of the feared typhus-ridden mice drawn on top of the face of a, Jewish, of a Jewish man that has been made to look like a skull. There's several other examples of anti-Semitic Nazi propaganda depict Jews covered in lice, but this image seems designed to suggest that Jews and lice are fundamentally similar creatures equally responsible for spreading disease. German doctors and public health officials in the Nazi regime helped advance those anti-Semitic ideas. They did not acknowledge the German invasion of Poland and the creation of the Jewish ghettos were actually responsible for creating typhus epidemic in occupied Poland by imposing hunger, poverty, overcrowding, and unsanitary conditions. Instead, German medical professionals published essays claiming that Jewish people, supposedly low cultural levels and uncleanness were to blame. Right, so for a lot of these people that are like, trust the science, trust the medical community, this is a very perfect, a perfect example looking back at history of how, you know, just like saying, just like you can buy a politician, you can equally buy a doctor. Or you can have these individuals. It's not that difficult to find people who will work for the government, who will take a bribe, who will take money, who will just you know, put out studies, right? Talking whatever is in favor of what the government wants. Even if it's racist, culturally inappropriate, unscientific, doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, fear trumps logic. It says the respected status of German physicians helped spread the lie that Jews were responsible for spreading typhus concerned only with preserving the health of German personnel, German public health officials in occupied Poland repeatedly urged occupation of authorities to isolate Jews further from the rest of the population. 
very similar to today. It says their professional medical advice was used to rationalize the creation of Jewish ghettos throughout occupied Poland. And I talked yesterday about how Australia is now creating accommodation camps. The same thing. They gave fancy word uh, and flowery words that were utilized for these ghettos. There were areas where they were going to reapportion for these individuals to move. We're going to separate you people over here and we're going to stay over here. They just happened to be camps. And over time, the hatred continued to be stirred up against these people. Says German occupation authorities used propaganda posters like this one to spread these unfounded justifications for the isolation of Jews from Polish society. Why do I bring this up for today? This is an article from today, I believe. I believe this article is from today. And it says here, this is coming from the Washington Post. This is an Alabama doctor watched patients reject the COVID vaccine. Now he is refusing to treat them. And this is yeah, this is yesterday, as of 2 2 30 p.m. It says in Alabama, where the nation's lowest vaccination rates has helped to push the state closer to a record number of hospitalizations, a physician has sent a clear message to his patients: don't come in for medical treatment if you are unvaccinated. Now it goes on to talk about his stance, how individuals are getting sick, etc. Also, PBS says breakthrough. COVID infections show the unvaccinated are now putting the vaccinated at risk. Now, typically when you take a vaccine, let's say I take the vaccine for the flu, it creates antibodies in my body so that if I do come in contact with someone who has the particular strain that I have been vaccinated against, I am less likely, at least according to their theory, according to their logic, I am less likely to get sick than someone who is not vaccinated. Right? So if I didn't take the flu vaccine, I now don't have those antibodies that were given to me via the vaccine response. And so an individual would be more likely, but not according to today. According to today, the science is just basically lopsided, very much like the science here in relation to the Jews. Now, it also goes on to say this, according to the AP, as of July 30th, it says a study it says these people, are the, they carry just as much as others. And I believe Dr. Fauci talked about this last time, which is why the CDC recommended that those, even if you took it, you still had to wear a mask. And there was some sort of confusion between people. And then they were like, well, why am I, why am I going to wear a mask? And then they said, well, because you can still spread it, right? You can still spread the disease. Which I'm not going to get into because I'm not looking to get my last strike. And again, Israel is one of the most vaccinated country. I believe it's about 90%. We're going to look at this article first. It says lockdown is the last resort possible. This is as of August 18th. So why would Israel, which is one of the most vaccinated countries, need to go into a lockdown? Well, it's because they're experiencing more cases now than before. It says lockdown is the easy option. But it will destroy the economy, says the last possible resort. This is only once all other options have been tried. It says, uh, Bennett lauds the U.S. decision to recommend booster doses for its own populations weeks after Israel began doing so. And I've always said, pay attention to Israel. It says, the third dose gives us better protection than after the first and the second, right? So previously, the narrative was that you needed to be fully vaccinated, right? Fully vaccinated was two doses. Now you're not. Now you're not fully vaccinated. You need that third dose. And if you don't want to get subjected yourself to routine injections from this particular company, well, then now you're not, now you can be part of the blame, right? Because before you were a good boy and you did what you were told, but now you're like, well, wait a minute. I got to go through this again. What happens after the third? There's going to be a fourth and a fifth, and a sixth, et cetera, so on and so on. I showed yesterday talking about how, well, they're like, well, maybe you're going to get it. Every, people were thinking it was eight months, a uh, yearly. Now it's eight months. Then it's going to be six months. Then it's going to be quarterly. The reason being is because Bennett pushes vaccines over lockdowns as serious cases hit five-month high. That seems odd. How are you having five-month high in cases 
when you've vaccinated almost 90%, I think overwhelmingly the, the majority of the people who got vaccinated and double dosed were the geriatric patients. Now, if you don't play along, well, then you're spreading the disease. And eventually, they'll go into lockdown. People are trying to avoid lockdowns because it will collapse their economy and then that'll be the end of their country. They'll go into a severe depression the likes many nations have not seen. But it just goes to show you the route that we're headed. And it's, it's going to be circular. This logic is very circular. You take it, you still pass it, you can still pass it on. Well, you need to take it again. If you don't, if, if anywhere in that loop, you break the chain and you don't want to play along anymore, and you become part of the problem. At some point, people are going to have to make a decision. And it's always going to end in violence. I'll tell you that for sure. The moment a large group of people want to stop playing on that little Ferris wheel of take it, cases, take it, more cases, etc. The moment people start wanting, wanting to jump off that little, that little circular game that they're playing, it's only going to end in violence. As the normies will start to call for your head. Just the same way that it happened to the Jews same way that happened to the Jews back during the time of Nazi Germany.